How to create the typing effect in Canva? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to animate in Canva so that you can create the typing effect for your next title graphics. We're going to start by creating our canvas. You can make any dimension you want, the principles are the same, but for this, I'm going to create a 1280 by 720, so that's the same dimensions as a YouTube video. So once you have your canvas, then go into elements and type in search bar. You're going to get a bunch of different results, so just look through them and pick one that resonates with you. I'm going to pick this one. With most of them, you can update the colors, so I'm going to update the colors so that they match my branding. Once you have your search bar, you can add your words to it. So go to your text, add your text, and then you're going to do a space and then a line. You can see that this doesn't fit into my search bar, so I can make my search bar bigger, and then I can also adjust my font by making it smaller. You can customize your font to whatever it is you want. Once your design is set, you're going to want to count out how many letters and spaces there are in your words so that you know how many pages you have to make. All my letters and spaces are equal to 24, so I'm going to need 24 different slides. But before I duplicate my slides, I want to put something in play because if I start animating now, as I duplicate my slides, the properties I have in the first slide are going to move on to the next one, so I'm going to have less to adjust later. So I'm going to go to animate and I'm just going to select any of the animations. The reason I need to select an animation is because the time clock isn't going to show up unless I have an animation in play. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to put 0.3 seconds in there. Done. And then I'm going to duplicate that. So you can see as I duplicate that, it keeps my timer in play. And I'm just going to change the animate style to none for the second one. And then I'm just going to keep duplicating that. And you can see that it's duplicating it without the animation and the 0.3 seconds. And I counted all my letters, including my spaces. I know I need 24 pages. So I'm going to make 24 copies of this. Once I get to the end, I know that the last one is going to have the full video of it, and I want to make the last slide stand a little longer so I can cut it. So I'm going to increase the timer for this one up to 5 seconds because I want to have a little buffer and it's going to hold on that and I can always edit that in my editing software. So there we go. And then I'm going to work my way back. And as I work my way back, on each slide I'm going to delete one of the letters. And finally, my last one is not going to have anything in it. So if I push this play button up here in the corner, I can preview it and see exactly what it's going to look like. There we go. So I have my full text on created. I like what it looks like, and now all I need to do is download it. And so I can download it as an MP4, download, and now the video is just processing. So you can use this for any kind of typing effect or title graphics that you need for your videos just to make it a little bit more creative and a little bit more fun. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, or better yet, subscribe. I have new videos out every Wednesday. Until next time. Peace.